It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Carrying on with our Ukrainian craft beer week, we have Vava Brew Barrel Faker Foreign Extra Stout. This beer is coming in at 7.6% ABV, 47 IBUs. It's in a 330ml Red Bull style tall thin can. So the reason why it's called Barrel Faker is instead of putting the, the beer in barrels, they've actually put wood chips in the beer. A bit like what Innis and Gun do with the rum finished, whiskey finished beers you see in the supermarkets. It's all wood chips rather than actually putting the beer in barrel. Let's get the beer out and into a glass, see what we get. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That looks tremendous, doesn't it? We got a two to three finger. I reckon it's a two finger tan colored head. It's a jet black beer in the glass. No light bleeding through whatsoever. Absolutely tremendous looking stuff. Uh, let's get the aroma. So just to finish off on the look of the beer then, it, it looks to be, it, it's not kind of, there's no, no bits and pieces floating around. There's no yeast or anything like that in the beer. So a relatively clean looking stout. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that's really interesting. Weirdly, first aroma, like a rose petal or something like that, along those lines. Yeah, like flower petals. That's really interesting. A really sweet... Stout, maybe, with, with floral hops. It's very, very floral, very flowery. That's very unique for a stout, very unique. Normally you're picking up aromas of chocolate and coffee and caramel. Not, not here, absolutely not. You are a little bit, but it's, it's, it's dominated by a floral. Like you just put your face in a, in a, in a, in a bouquet of flowers. It's really interesting. Parma Violets. Remember Parma Violets? It's got a weird Parma Violet vibe about it. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. And the taste is very much foreign extra stout. You get that pipe tobacco smoke. You get that bitterness, that, that definite roasted malt. I was a little bit fearful after the aroma, wondering what I was gonna get when I tasted this beer, but it's definitely roasted malt. It's definitely pipe tobacco smoke. Bitterness, dryness chocolate coffee caramel but there is something else there is a floral nature to this beer and i'm interested to kind of work out exactly what that is. i mean there's no use me trying to read the back of the can it's all in the wonderful uh ukrainian language and you know i'm not going to be able to understand a word of that so i just got to work it out myself but I've always done that anyway on the channel. If you look at all of my beer reviews, I never do anything on un untapped or rate beer. I never read up what's going on. And, and it's for that very reason, is that I'm tasting the beer. I don't need anybody else 
to tell me what I should be tasting. I should be picking it up for myself. And I think that's the reason why the majority of you people tune in, is to hear my perspective from, from what I'm tasting. It's a strange beginning, it really is. I can't quite work it out. Whether it's the barrel, it must be. It, it must be the barrel that they've used. I'm very tempted to use the word sweet. But I don't think it's sweet. I don't think it's a sweetness. It, it's definitely something Got me bumping my gums. This is the second or third beer from Vava Brewing Company that's got me bumping my gums. I'm like, oh, this is this is really something to think about. And I like that about beer. When a beer bamboozles you a little bit. It's like a sweet cherry or... I almost want to describe it as coconutty and vanilla-like. Definitely vanilla. Oh, it's got me. This has got me. I think it's got me, this one. Look, comment in the comments box down below. If you are from Ukraine, if, if, if you've tried this beer, if you can understand the dialect on the back of this can, let me know. Let me know on the back of that, what, what is saying on the back of the can? What is that? Maybe it's brown, it might be brown sugar. It might be like a molasses or something, like a, like a brown sugar. Maybe. Maybe it's like a creme brulee, a very sweet creme brulee. Oh, it's blooming interesting though. It's really interesting. It's got me, it's, it's really got me, you know, sometimes, look, you guys have been watching me for years. Sometimes you can see me doing a beer review where I'm going through the motions. I'm, I'm talking chocolate, coffee, caramel and... You know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, bloody, bloody, blah. You know, I'm, I'm just passing time. And then there's other times on the channel where you can think, in this instance, where I'm really having to, like, think on my feet here. I'm really having to, like, put all of my brain power into, into what I'm trying to taste. And I much prefer this type of beer review where, where I'm really thinking on my, th on my feet. It, it's because I've drunk eight, over 8,000 beers. Being the best plumber in the world, at the end of the day, you're still going to be ready to retire at the end of it all, aren't you? You're still going to be like, I've done enough of this now, I want to do something different. Um, I'm not saying I've, I've had enough and I want to do something different. What I'm trying to say here is, is that there's some beers that I review where I'm not even really engaging my brain. I know what I'm tasting. It's a very comfortable place to be. It's a comfort zone. I'm not being pushed. This is pushing. That's what I'm basically saying here. This beer is pushing me. It's pushing me to, to think an awful lot about the beer. And I love that. I blooming love that. Because... It's floral, it's parma violet, it's creme brulee, it's flowery, it's just unbelievable. Roasted malt coming through, bitterness, it's terrific. Maybe it's the hops. Maybe Vava Brewing Company have found a terrific hop that they've used in this beer that's completely bamboozling me. There's a look at it, terrific looking beer. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful, it really is. 
It's another, I put, I put one of their cans up in the cupboard. The Test Drive IPA. It's another beer. It's another beer can that I've got to somehow fit into this cupboard because it really is tremendous beer. It really is. Maybe we push back the cheese and onion lager from Northern Monk. The cheese and onion lager was really interesting, but um, maybe maybe this barrel aged or barrel faker stout from Five Hour Brewing Company needs to be in that cupboard. Yeah, it's really good. I'm going to rate it. Fantastic head retention, great ABV, lovely, lovely look to the beer, great aroma, fantastic taste. Mm. I like it. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Rideau Craft Beer for curiosity alone. The fact that I'm really curious about this beer and, and what the actual ingredients are is the reason why I've given this beer a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the beer review. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.